welcome back to my channel. So today we have my April favorites. I'm gonna mention all the products I've been loving. Also have a one re weird regret that I might start with that was just not that good. So uh, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here so that you don't miss out on any new videos. And now let's go ahead and get into the favorites. Or it's the other way. So I'm going to start with the regret. It's actually a new moisturizer. This is from Eucerine. It's Derma Purifier. It's basically supposed to be a very hydrating moisturizer for acne prone skin. Now, uh, if you know, I've been on dexacycline. I have a bunch of like videos regarding my acne therapy that I was on. And so my skin has been really, really good. But lately, because I got a job, I am finishing high school, I just have a lot of stuff going on in my life currently. Um, I guess the stress levels were a bit higher and then my skin started breaking out again. So I started kind of, you know, trying to alternate my uh, skincare routine that wasn't so much targeted for acne anymore to, you know, again, some acne treatments and stuff. So I tried this one and I don't like acne treatments. Most of them just make my skin really kind of scaly and dry and I don't like that. So I tried this one but it made my skin really break out. I had a lot of like whiteheads and that is a sign that my skin is reacting to a product, to a topical product and not to something from inside. So yeah, I stopped using it and changed to a favorite of this month and this is the La Roche-Posay Epiclar K. Now there is the Epiclar Duo that is amazing that I've used for years and years and that always helps my skin. But I was just in, in the mood to try something different and I tried this one and how I remember Epiclar K was that you apply it only to different spots. But this one is safe to use around your whole face and I tell you, I, like within days my skin was clear again. So just great, great product and yeah, it's, it's not that expensive and it's totally that kind of high-end feel to it. So I, I really love this one. Um, staying with the skincare theme, I also have a new drugstore discovery. I'm a huge fan of the Bioderma Micellar Water, but um, it's not always easy to find and it's a lot more exp expensive than some uh, drugstore alternatives. And I love the L'Oreal Micellar Water, but I tried to, uh, tried the Nivea 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Water because a lot of like UK uh, uh, bloggers and vloggers mentioned this one and that it was amazing. So I gave it a try and it really, really is great. Uh, my sister actually got this one first and I was really surprised because she's not really that much into beauty but she let me try it and now I totally stole it away from her and I've been using it and it removes all traces of makeup even waterproof mascara, I totally melts it off so a gem from the drugstore then I have a new foundation that is going to be my prom foundation because I have my prom in like two weeks so yeah, I'm slowly starting to think about what makeup I want to do and stuff. So I got the Vichy Derma Blend uh, foundation in the shade Opal. And the reason why I got it, this is because of Lisa Eldridge, who used this in her acne covering makeup tutorial. And I really wanted something very full coverage that doesn't have much SPF in it. Although this one I believe has like SPF 8 or something like that. But it's not a really big factor. And I've been using it in my previous tutorials. It just, it's the best covering makeup product ever and it's so gentle on the skin it doesn't feel like anything I'm actually wearing it on my skin right now and just amazing amazing it really lasts the whole day it doesn't like oxidize or turn patchy at all and how I've been loving to apply it was with my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush this has a really weird slant I actually mentioned this in my Sigma haul that I'm gonna link right here okay somewhere here um, so you can go and watch the video if you want to where I'm showing you what I picked up from Sigma and this brush has this really really weird slant and it's just, I don't know what's about it, I guess because it's really dense but the bristles are super soft, it just blends and gives that airbrush finish plus because it has this slant it's super easy to go around the eyes and the crooks of your nose and stuff so just a really great brush and I think it's totally worth the money so I really really recommend these two especially together I can't wait for my prom because my skin is going to look amazing. So I've been loving this one. Then staying with the brushes theme, I actually got also the Sigma Blending E25. This was actually sent to me for free, like a little sample. This is just the travel size. And when I first got it, I didn't think I would like it that much. Although everybody on YouTube just loved the Sigma E25. But it just seemed like it's not dense enough to pack on the color. But it's not fluffy enough to blend it. But what I find it's amazing for is really uh, kind of sculpting out the uh, can't speak sculpting out the crease. 
because it has that kind of firmness to it, it's just easy to place the color and then you can just work it into the um, eyelid. So I've been loving this one on just days when I don't have a lot of time, when I'm getting ready for school. I literally just use my fingers to apply a really shimmering shade all over my eyelids and then this one and dip it in some shade of my naked palette and just apply it in the crease and that's done. So really, really good brush and I love it and I want more Sigma brushes because I'm getting hooked on them. <laughs> Um, then I have a new brow routine. Now, my brows are a very sensitive topic. I do not like my brows and I always get really bad comments about my brows. But my brows have been a lot better. So I'm going to show you a photo of my brows before I started the argan oil treatment that I've mentioned in my previous favorites using the Dior argan oil. Um, yeah, this is how my brows used to look and they were just they were really bad and now I have hair in my brows so that's awesome so I only need a very light filling except for today because I have very dramatic makeup I went with stronger brows but usually day to day I don't have I don't apply too much product in my brows and what I've been loving what a long intro for this one I've been loving my uh, L'Oreal Brow Artist Designer eye, uh, Eyebrow Pencil and this is in the shade Dark Brunette 303 I, I cannot explain this product. So you can get like a really sheer and easy application with not too much color but then if you just apply it a little bit, a little bit like with a heavy hand it's gonna give you that really precise edge and the color is just incredible and plus you have a little spoolie on the end. It's from the drugstore, super inexpensive. I use the heck out of this one and I don't feel like I've used it that much. Like I still have a lot of product left. This is just game changer for me totally I love it so much and even better than the eyebrow pencil is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper I'm sure you have heard of this everybody's raving about it on YouTube I have it in the shade transparent unfortunately we don't have the colored one here where I live I would love to get a brown one um, I, again I don't know how to explain it the result is just so amazing I have horrible brows and this keeps them in place and when I say horrible they are the worst brows you can imagine and this one just makes them look all nice and in one place. I, my brows always look like I use the stencil now since I started using these ones and they're just amazing. So go to the drugstore, these are like the highlights of the month for me. I just, oh, such a, they just made my life, my makeup life so much easier and I love it. <laughs> and then the last favorite I have is my Sephora Extreme Matte Lip Cream. I believe that's what it's called, Cream Lips, Lip Stain. And this is in the shade number one. So this is their classic red and I got this one because of Amelia Liana who raves about these ones. Um, actually, uh, my uh, my aunt from uh, France, she actually got me this one because we don't have Sephora here where I live. And when she was coming here, she was like, oh, what can I get you? And then I was like, uh, could you maybe give me this one? Because I really, really wanted to try it. And I went uh, to a club a few days ago with my friends and I was wearing this one from about 6 p.m. till about 5 a.m. and it hasn't budged at all. I ate, I drank, I sang, I danced, I did a lot of stuff and it still looked perfect by the end of the night and it wasn't a pain to take off. If anything, the missile water that I mentioned before just took it out like, like a dream and no scrubbing, no rubbing, but still long lasting results. So I, I want more of these and I'm actually going to Canada um, the day after tomorrow. So hopefully, I don't think I'm going to have free time because I'm going uh, on a visit trip, but however, hopefully I can stop by Sephora, maybe. We'll see. So that wraps up my favorites for this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, let me know in the comments below what are your favorites because I always want like new um, product recommendations. So please don't forget to do that. I really, really love, love, love hearing about new products. And I guess that's it. If you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, my links are going to be right below this video so you can go and find me there. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Bye!